Hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to uh, let you know something that's changing on my blog, um, which I hope some of you are checking out uh, or have checked out in the past. Um, but anywho, I've started a section on there uh, for explaining uh, so far each of the major arcana. Uh, it's not close to being done yet. I finished uh, two of the cards, the first two obviously, the, the Fool and the Magus. Um, so for that I am using Crowley's deck. Um, so I want you guys to be aware of it because I want people to know that it's there and um, hopefully people will find it uh, to be a good resource. Um, I hope to do it with um, every card in the deck. <laughs> um, that would be pretty cool if I could get all 72 on there uh, at some point. But um, but yeah, so the, the, the one issue with it is that it's um, my explanations, I'm realizing, are uh, a little difficult because they're... Uh, I try to give an explanation of the philosophy and um, Kabbalistic stuff behind uh, each card, the symbolism in it and... Um, why it depicts what it depicts, um, so it can be a little heady sometimes, so um, please if you have any questions about it, I would love to try to answer them and uh, try to help you out, because as you know, I am incredibly passionate about Alice Crowley's tarot deck, um, perhaps too much, so um, <laughs> um, but uh, it's, it's something that really uh, speaks to me. So. Um, so I love talking about it with people. I love uh, trying to answer your questions. And some of you have emailed me uh, questions, and I've, I've really enjoyed helping you guys out with that. Um, it's, it's really, it means a lot to me, frankly. So, um, so that's there. I'm trying to think also, of course, on my blog, you can, of course, uh, request a reading. There's um, a little blurb of information. Yeah, you can find it on the side. There's a, a sidebar of, like, links and crap. Um, and there is a uh, request a reading link and um, excuse me and uh, you can go there and there's a blob of information about the reading and um, basically there's a PayPal thing in the bottom and so that PayPal does go to me um, and yeah so you have three options there. I, you can either do uh, a Celtic Cross reading for $15, and I can either do that here on YouTube or I can do it uh, via a written response. It's far easier for me to do it on YouTube anonymously for you, obviously. I wouldn't give your name or anything. Um, but yeah, um, there, there, there is that option. Uh, I can also do a uh, first operation opening with a key for you for, I think it's 24 how much to I think it's like about 30 I want to say just because it's so complicated and I you need time to digest it I think um, as you've seen in some of my example readings you don't really get a clear sense of what it's saying the first time you read it I think the opening of the key is best done when you just leave it out and come back to it um, and really think about it a lot because you know even that reading I did for Antonia my uh, great 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 grandmother on my mother's side, when I was talking to my mother about it afterwards, you know, we sort of hashed out through the details, and we realized what what the reading said that was, um, well, rather what the reading was trying to say, and where I had made mistakes in interpreting it. So it's it's which is very easy to do, really tough to do the opening of the key not in person because you can't ask questions to people. Um, so anywho, but if that's something you're interested in. Um, we can uh, you can select that, or you can do the entire operation of the opening of the key for fifty dollars um, because that takes several hours and probably a couple of days too because I'll want to go over it a lot um, and I'd have to record all that information <laughs> sort of uh, very time consuming but um, you get a lot of information from it and you can ask very um, deep questions uh, from it you know for long periods of time too. But anywho, um, so that's that. Um, I believe that's all I wanted to say to you today. I don't know. Um, but the blog is going well. I realize that the blog is sort of a hodgepodge of everything, but that was always the intent of it. Um, 
but I'm trying to get it back on a more, I guess, a more tower-related uh, scope. I've been doing a lot of philosophy and religion with it. Um, a little bit of music here and there, music and culture type things. Um, I sort of am tempted to do a post on on Wagner and Berlioz, actually, and um, female hysterical arias. Um, yeah, because um, that's that sort of thing is is cool to me. Um, and I've been on a Wagner kick again. I was a music major. I'm a huge classical music dork, so um, I love me my Wagner. And uh, yesterday I finished watching the 2008 production of uh, Tristan und Isolde, um at the Met with Deborah Voigt. So I was a very happy person. Except not really. It was also really, really sad and I cried a lot because it was so beautiful. It was really incredible. Um, but anywho, I'll, I won't tell you about that. All right. Well, I hope, um, I hope you find that new section on the blog useful and uh, whatever else. And as always, if you have any questions about anything, please let me know. Um, yeah. Bye. <laughs>